Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Now, F1 2020 was such a good year, I'm still getting a kick from having all those new and different races that we had at these different tracks that we haven't raced at for a long time, or never raced at before. So, this series I am calling the Alternative F1 Races. Basically, of every race weekend, I'll be jumping in to a set of course in VR and taking part in a Grand Prix weekend, but the tracks that I'll be using, none of them be on the current F1 calendar. So there'll be tracks that are either in the same country or close enough to where the original race was, just to change it up and let's see what F1 would be like in completely different places, some places you wouldn't even think of. With that said, let's get into the race. Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the alternative Turkish Grand Prix. You have no idea how many times I've had to correct this. I originally had Istanbul Park as the alternative for Hungary. Um, no, the alternative for Azerbaijan. And then Canada got cancelled and replaced with Turkey. Then Turkey got cancelled. And then I had an alternative Japanese Grand Prix and that got cancelled and then Turkey came on the calendar so I needed an alternative for Turkey. Very long and confusing, but this is Sears in Greece. So we've got a Greek track. Uh, it is raining, you can just about see in the mirror that it is raining. Uh, and you can see the cars in front as well. The thing that's scaring me is this track is actually quite short, so there's a l it's going to be a long race. The track is only, it says it's only a kilometer. I very much doubt that. No, if it's a kilometer, I'll be finishing up now. Yeah, it says it's a kilometer. I don't think it's a kilometer. So I'm gonna to have to change the thing because otherwise it's gonna make me do like 63 laps of this place. Uh, Sears, from what I can tell, is a drifting track in Greece. So there's lots of lots of tight corners and lots of sort of switchbacks. But it seems really pretty fun. So it's difficult for me to try and remember it. I'll try and give you a quick lap here. So we come down to turn one, very tight and very long. Along, all the way around. Switch this back. This is flat out completely. Yep, it is. Then we got uh, quite a tight, long hairpin. This is tighter than it looks. Bring down. I'm trying to process it as well. Long left. Maybe a shift down? Probably not a shift down. That looks flat. That I do need shift down for and the final corner. But it's quite an involved sort of left right, left right, left right track. So I'm going to do a few practice. I'm going to double check the distance as well because I don't think it's 1.2 kilometers as it said on the thing. It's definitely more than 1.2 kilometers. So I'll go and check the difference as well. Oh, by the way, I'm trying a new camera angle. Uh, you probably noticed. So. Uh, yeah, trying that. And I'm off the track. Great. It's 3.1 kilometers. Okay, we are now into qualifying. Um, yeah, the game information was wrong. This track is 3.1 kilometers, not 1.2. Um, also did a bit of research on it. It's does a bit of drifting. Um, it is the largest racetrack in Greece uh, and it has an FIA Grade 4 so it can hold um, national Formula 3 races mo um, and some like international motorbike races, not MotoGP. 
but it can host mot and does host motorbike racing. Yeah, local uh, that local Formula Three and and drifting. So it is FIA Grade Four. I don't know if that's the same as Grobnik or not for Croatia. But right, let's let's see what we can what we can do. And I hope the AI actually managed to get out of the pits. They struggled during practice. So we got a long right hander first, close to a flat. We got brake really hard down for a tight hairpin. Break a little bit of the sort of chicanes. That's flat. This next bit is flat, and then you've got to stamp on the brakes. Down to second for the next long left hander. Run wide. This is again another long double apex. Right. Coming up, we've got another long right hander. You do need to shift down a bit because you want to be on the inside at the exit, ready for the jink to the left. Oh, tight for the last, so second to last corner. There's the last corner. It's just a kink, but that wasn't great. 102, 19. I'm sure, I can try and get that a bit better. That is, if if the AI are going out, and like practice, only George Russell has managed to make it out. So hopefully, more people get out get out during quali. But if we start, that'll just be them struggling to get out of the pit box. Um, but starts on the grid, should be alright. So, welcome along to the Greek Grand Prix here at Syrus. Uh, got 16 corners, 7 to the left, 9 to the right. And we've got a very mixed up grid. I was the only one actually to set a lap alongside George Russell. No one else set a lap, so I thought, hey, let's just click skip session and it will move us all uh, to this. I also need to make sure the tyres are set correctly. So after sort of a random qualifying we have Sebastian Vettel on pole position alongside former Ferrari teammate Kimi Raikkonen, Valtteri Bottas and Sergio Perez will be battling out third and fourth. Mick Schumacher ahead of Nicholas Latifi. Max Stappen is seventh with Tony Giovinazzi next to him, Lando Norris and Yuki Tsunoda take up the top 10. Danny Ricciardo failed to get into Q3, uh, so did Fernando Alonso and his teammate Esteban Ocon. We have the Alfa Tauri of Pierre Gasly ahead of Lance Stroll. Nikita Mazepin managed to out-qualify uh, Ferrari driver Carlos Sainz after his wonderful uh, race in Turkey, he was driver of the day. He also took an engine penalty, so he started at the back. Lewis Hamilton also took an engine penalty. He will also be starting at the back, even though we started 11th in the race, but oh well. Uh, behind them is Charles Leclerc, so a poor qualifying for Ferrari, and George Russell rounds off the grid. So we have 24 laps in this rather damp Sears circuit, this rather miserable day in Greece. We've got five laps. Five laps. That's a Murray Walker. That's a that's a Murrayism. Four lights, five laps. We have 24 laps, five lights off. And the Ferraris have crashed into each other in true Ferrari tradition. True Ferrari tradition. The two Ferraris go out. For Charles Leclerc is out. Carlos Sainz manages to get the car back on track, but he's got to try and catch up to the pack now. Ferrari's not having a good start. But thankfully, because of his clear air, he, Carlos Sainz is pretty much at the back of the pack now. It's in uh, George Russell and Nikita Mazepin fighting it out for 18-17. He's going to be dumb and get himself boxed in. You've got DRS. Pass Mazepin. 
we get past George. Just want to break early to make sure. But this is why I picked this track and I absolutely loved it. Because firstly, Greece is very no close to Turkey, but also look at this. You can quite happily run side by side with loads of people. And that's not necessarily the best one, because look, now we're going the other way. Now we go this way. And the Al the Alpine can stay there of Ocon. And I can go around the outside here, and he's got the inside into this corner. You can legit run side by side most of the lap here. That's why it's such a good track. I've just got to see if I can pull ahead. I don't know where he... I think he's still... I don't know if he's still next to me or not. I genuinely don't know. I'm going to leave space in case he is. But I don't think he is anymore. Particularly now. I'm going to stick my nose up the Alpha Towery. And now... Whoa. Last roll break there. Last roll break there. I, and I hit the microphone because I wanted to scratch my nose. Oh, this is much more thrilling starting at the back. Can't see because of Stroll and TV. Give Stroll a little love tap. Look at the close racing. This is great. I mean, I totally get why this track isn't on the Formula 1 calendar. It's grade 4. It, there's no proper runoffs. It's it's not actually too short, but there's like no facilities and not the best visually. I mean, look, you can literally see the piles of sand that they've shifted to make the track. But you get such close racing. Oh. Trying to get a nose in on Stroll. Ah! Ah! Hit Alonso. Whoops. Oh well, he had that enough. Amazingly, he had that uh, enough of that happening to him in the real race. Whoa! Don't know which Alpha Tauri that is. Right down. Dive there. Get past the Alfa Romeo. It was Sonoda and Geo there. So we've got Norris and Raikkonen up ahead. Around the outside of Lando. Hi, Kimmy. He's got the line through there. I got the line through here. He's got the line through there. We both hold it out through that one. And now I close the door on him and I get behind Daniel Ricciardo. Ooh. Big drift because I locked up the rears. That is Vettel I've passed. That is fourth place. I wonder what happened to Vettel, he started P1, pretty sure. You have been disqualified for not clearing the track cut penalty. Great, so i got to get a lap 6 again. Get him and pass the Red Bull as well. There we go, so we're back onto lap six, so this is back to where we were. Slightly different outcome as well. That is Sebastian Vettel in second, and we have Valtteri Bottas out there somewhere in the lead. Charles Leclerc is still in this race. Around the outside of Seb. 
Beautiful. Right, let's see if we can go and find and hunt down Boundary Vartas. Whoa, got really close there. The problem is that it'll still keep the inside. Ooh, I'm trying to take the slower line through there, but. This is why this track is so good, because I can just. We can run side by side the whole lap. Oh. Right, so he's got the outside, but there's room for him to go back. I, mean, I did make a mistake as well. I've got to go slower for the inside of this minute. He can go faster around the outside. If I've got the tighter line, he can go that way. Ah, oh, knife spun. Okay, so I've got to do all that work again to try and catch him. It penalised me for going back off the track as well to uh, turn around. That was fair. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm alongside him. I was shifted, didn't shift up enough. I was trying to get the ERS a bit higher. But I've caught up to him now. We are on lap 12 of 24. We are halfway through the Grand Prix. Around the outside. he is, I'm past him. There we go, first place for Carlos Sainz and Ferrari in Greece. And we're about to come and lap Mazepin. I wonder if he's actually gonna let me through. So we're coming on to the last lap as I pass Giovinazzi again. But this this is actually a really, really fun track. I've really enjoyed it because as I've been ranting and raving about throughout most of the race, you know, you can go you can go side by side with people through a lot of the corners. And yeah, there's lots of cool switchbacks and a fun little circuit. I mean, even if they don't race here, it would be great for like testing as well. I mean, it doesn't have a long straight, but it does have you know, lots of different high and low speed corners and sudden braking zones and you know, places where you have to brake and turn. It's a great little test track as well. But let me know what you think of this this track in. No, if, if we had a Greek Grand Prix, it would have to be this track because this is the biggest track in Greece. But, saying that, biggest track in Greece and Carlos Sainz wins the first ever Greek Grand Prix. Let's see if we can do it. So there's Gasly 11th. Alonso just beat Perez. You had us, Bottas, Verstappen, Leclerc, Sonoda. Ricardo, Norris, Stroll, Hamilton, Vettel taking the last of the points. Gasly, Alonso, Perez. We are waiting for Raikkonen. There he goes. And the others were a lap down. In fact, they were. So, yeah, uh, Raikkonen across the line there in 14th. Schumacher, Latifi, Giovinazzi, Ocon, Russell, Mazepin. But what do you think of... Uh, of Sears and uh, the idea of a Greek, the idea of a Greek Grand Prix. Um, what do you think of this camera angle? Did you prefer this camera angle? It was just more convenient doing it this way than it was stacking cans uh, directly in front. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, yeah, and if you enjoyed the video, if you like and subscribe, that would be great. 
Um, yeah, next one of these will be in two weeks' time for uh, the US Grand Prix. I'm going to do Long Beach. Uh, and then we've got some fun circuits for the, the Middle Eastern... Well, we've still got Mexico and Brazil, haven't we? And then, yeah, the uh, the Middle Eastern one is quite a far, is quite fun, fun tracks uh, that I'm going to have. Um, yeah, please do so, subscribe. We've got more things coming like this. I've got um, like old Gran Turismo stuff coming, and I want to do a, a video about James Bond cars and um, different manufacture test tracks and load of great ideas coming up um so if you're interested in that hit subscribe and i'll see you next time